doing a move-in series. I know y'all been so preoccupied. Like, where are these move-in vloggers, girl? <laughs> like, I've been getting so many messages. So I decided to bring you guys a whole entire series. A lot has happened in this three months. We've been pretty busy. So I haven't been able to do, like, move-in vlogs. So this week and the next following weeks, we're going to get this house situated. We're going to get this, my life situated, okay? Because my house is looking like a prison. It's too gray. It's too white. It literally looks like a prison slash hospital it looks like a insane asylum look how bright this is bro are we descending into heaven what the hell's going on literally what the hell's going on actually i'm scared but my house is very nice i'm very grateful to live in this house i love my house but i just need to make it a home you know what i mean so we started off with a closet i already did this vid if you guys haven't seen it go watch it in this vid basically we're gonna get everything unpacked and get like the necessities and then i want to go room by room and just make it into my pinterest fantasy you know what I mean? Because you know those lamps? That's what brings that cozy feeling, okay? I'm on the side of TikTok where it's like, do not use the big light. Ah! And I literally use the big light for everything. And that's probably why my, my lighting's so ass in this house, actually. Two plus two, it's adding up. So as I told you guys, I've already been moved in for like three months. And I still have boxes that I have not unpacked. Low key, my fault. But it's because I've been waiting for this vid. I've been waiting for you. The time has come and let's get it done. Also, let's show the outfit for today. Hey, 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 I've been loving skirts lately. Also, we have a lot to talk about in this video. And if you guys don't know me, <laughs> welcome to Yapper Nation. No, but seriously, disclaimer, this video is going to be me talking basically the whole entire video. Just to warn you. Also, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So what we need to do in this movement vlog, we need to get some plants. Because I have a little area that's underneath the stairs and it looks... It just needs some love. It needs something there. So I'm thinking of putting a bunch of plants, make it look like a little mini garden type stuff. It's going to be so cute. We're going to finish unpacking everything. We're going to clean up the garage. And we're going to do a little bit of decorating, but not too much. Not too much. <sighs> Alright, so let's get into the unpacking. Before we continue on with the video, guys, I want to talk about this brand that I have been obsessed with, girl. I am a bra hater. Like, a number one bra hater. I mean, I haven't wore bras since I was probably in middle school or high school. Actually, I don't really think I've ever wore bras, if I'm going to be honest. I hate the way it feels. It makes me feel uncomfortable, especially the push-up ones, especially the ones with the wire. Like, I hate it. Like, I'd rather just freed in it. If you guys haven't heard about Parade, let me put you on. So, I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite pieces from this brand because, seriously, it just, the feeling is completely different compared to, like, like traditional type bras this site honestly has some of the cutest freaking underwear sets and boxers that you guys can find and they're very unique i feel like you don't see that a lot anymore like everything's the same color everything's plain everything's neutral let's have some light let's have some fun let's have some color in our life and that's exactly what parade does best like look how freaking cute this is this don't even have to just be a bra like i will wear this with an outfit you can make a bump outfit with this and it's so comfortable and it got the yiddies looking good that's number one on my list okay and she does it for me also my Materials thin enough so you don't see it through your clothing because that's what I also hate about bras like look at this color You can't tell me this isn't so cute and you could literally make an outfit with this two in one So I would say this set is probably my favorite out of everything that I got It's just so soft and comfortable. I could wear it all hours of the day I could wear it with an outfit under anything. It just she's that girl. She's that girl Also, the material is so soft and doesn't irritate your skin at all These bralettes have seriously been a game changer for me. They are so freaking comfortable and so so cute they're definitely my favorite lounge around bras right now and they're comfortable enough for me to use in my regular clothes parade is also a sustainable brand which we love they also have such cute bras that can double as like gym tops which i will be using these can double for gym tops and double for outfits like there's so much you can do with them they're so versatile but if you guys are interested and y'all want to swim with me you guys can use my code right here for 40 percent off babes go run you guys can also click the link in my description to shop these sets and let's get back into the vid Look what we're working with. A mess. Literally a mess. Mess number two. Bobby? Guys, what can I do? Alexis wanted me to switch offices last minute when I already had everything set up. And this is what I have to deal with. What space do I really have? Boy. Like, I have to be, do a bunch of stuff to, like, make stuff work. I can't put nothing in front of you. It's my closet. Do you want to go back downstairs? Yeah. Yeah. What? Check this out. This is my closet and for some reason magically it's not my closet no more Because every closet in this house is mine. Closets are for women, bruh. What the hell? That's so sexist. Alright guys So this is where we have all the storage. This has been sitting here for literally two three minutes There's more there's more but honestly, this is like the big part of it There's not a lot. We already got the majority of everything out and about. It's just out and about What was that? What you deserve 
Okay, so this part of the house, I seriously don't know what to do with it. It's just a random spot, kind of awkward space. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the living room downstairs area. This is actually where the dining table is supposed to be, but we don't have a dining table. We just got an extra couch. This is called the cat's couch. Over here, we also have this awkward space and we have a Halloween decoration that we just have not put anywhere because we there's not a lot of storage in this house. I'm gonna be honest, but I have no idea what to put in this little space. And then this is the living room. Okay, we're starting off on a good note. She's cute, but you guys know what I mean when it looks like a prison cell, right? It's just so dark and gray. It is beautiful, magnificent. But for recording, why do I look like I'm in a cave right now. So what I'm thinking to put in this space is a lot of whites, just a lot of light colored stuff to open it up, to brighten up the area because there's already so much gray. Like my couch is gray, my shirt is gray, the, this is gray, the cat tree is gray. It's a lot of gray. And I talk a lot of shit about gray to have a whole gray ass house. <laughs> but I actually bought this light and we're gonna do an unboxing and it's just like a stick light. And I'm thinking of putting it in the corner or something or yeah, probably right there so it can lighten up the room. You know what I mean? Like we need some better lighting in here for real. Also y'all, this is the area that I was telling you guys that I wanna put a bunch of plants and stuff, make it look like a little a little garden, a little forest. But I was thinking, should I have all the macetas? These, should I have them be all white in here or should I have them colorful? What do we think guys? But would color look good with a gray wall? Ugh, I need an interior designer, but do I want to pay for one? No, so we're gonna use Pinterest in our mind. Actually, I want to be an interior designer, so I need to get it together. This is gonna be my first project. I'm gonna turn this a sane asylum into... Just kidding, no transition. But I'm gonna turn it into an oasis, a paradise, one might say. So this is my office. As you guys can see, it dead looks like we just live in a hospital, bruh. <laughs> Like there's really no decoration in the house. We have everything we need, like all the necessities, but where's the life? So right here, I actually don't, it's hot as hell in here. That's what it is. This was originally Michael's office, but I made him switch me because I couldn't put my Kali Uchi's bandera in the back, bro. It, it was just difficult, but now I'm just in a cubicle. We need to switch this up, babes. We need some ideas down below. But I'm gonna put my Kelly Cheese flag back here. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. I hate these black curtains. I hate them. We're probably gonna get those switched out. Also, we got the curtains like the first or second month we were living here. And it was a necessity, y'all, because why could everybody see inside our house? <laughs> Like during the day, it was reflective so people couldn't see in, but during the night, it looked like we were in an aquarium, in a museum. You could just see everything in the house. So we had to get these ASAP. Since this was Michael's office, he got like black curtains. Mm, I need some pink ones. I need some pink ones, some white ones. What, what is this? Are we in a fucking cave? So right here in this closet, we have a bunch of storage that we need to put away too. But we're probably gonna use this closet for pure storage purposes because we deadass don't have any storage. I'm gonna show you guys the garage right now. So this is our garage, guys. This is all the storage we got and this looks disgusting, ugly. So we need to do something with all this. We need to get all this out. That couch got to go. It's unfortunate. It just looks a mess. And half of this stuff we don't even use. We're just gonna sell it or give it away. But we need to get it out of here. It looks messy. And then this is... My car that I crashed on accident. Actually, it wasn't my fault. The tree hit me, okay? And this is the sound that it makes every time I open it. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. And this is our patio de servicio. As you can see, a mess. It needs a lot of help. I don't plan to make this part aesthetic. I just need to get all of this clothes out. I need to situate it. These have been in here for like a year straight. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. We need to bring some life into this lifeless room. And with that, we're gonna open up this light. I'm so excited! Oh my god, I'm gonna shit myself. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. I feel like there was an easier way to open this. I just be doing shit, bro. So I think this is the LED that goes into the pole. Yes, I was right. Not gonna lie guys, I feel like I've been putting this off for so long. But not even putting it off, Okay, I just forgot. And then one day I was like, wait, I never did any moving vlogs. I just did move out vlogs. And my house looks like it needs some decoration. So that's how this series got birthed, guys. I just randomly remembered what they- So I'm gonna set this up real fast. Oh my god, I need a screwdriver. This is why we let men do the building stuff. So I got the light set up, aka my boyfriend set it up. But let's see how it looks. I have the app right here. Um, let's try it. Let's try a different color. Bright. I think it would look better in the night. Let's see some color. Let's see some color. Ooh. Okay, it's pretty cool, but it doesn't give too much light. I thought it was gonna like light up the whole room type shit, but whatever. But it does look kind of cool. Like if I do it like this, I look like a bruja. Like I'm fucking forming some shit up right now. Oh my God, it actually looks pretty cool. Okay, yeah, so now I'm gonna start 
I'm packing. I've been procrastinating this for a long time, but it's time to get the book up. <gasps> Today we went to go get the macetas for the plantas that we're gonna put in the middle thing downstairs because I want it to look like a forest, like oh, like real vacation vibes, but like at home. Because you know I love nature, I love green, I love color. And in this concrete, we're gonna add a jungle. Concrete jungle. Yeah. Also, I need a cute place to take pics, okay? And that's where it's gonna be. I'm gonna put my mirror there. Shh. That's what I'm gonna put in that area down below where the cast litter is. I'm gonna put a mirror. I already have a mirror, but it's in my but it's in but it's in, guys, it's so damn hot, I can't even fucking think. <laughs> Got it. Also, I want to get a mirror that doesn't have, like, the frame, and it's just, like, poodle mirror type vibe. Like, low-key like this, but for a full body. And I want it to be big. I feel like that would look so cute. Also, today I'm supposed to be getting my desk and my vanity. <laughs> There's one thing about Mexico, y'all. People run on their own time here. Like, literally on their own time and anywhere. So I got my desk and my vanity done from this carpenter guy that works for my suegro's business, right? Michael and him are, like, super close. Bro, he's been saying that he's gonna be done with my desk, my vanity for like three weeks now. Hey y'all, tell me why last week he was chilling at the beach. Big chill, Semana Santa vibes, and we're like, bro, you said you're gonna give us the desk like two weeks ago. But today, según yo, I'm supposed to get my desk and my vanity, so let's all do a prayer. He's actually supposed to come in a few hours, but it's honestly so funny. Like, people really be on their own time here, and I'm a very punctual person. Like, I need to be on time. Oh my god, I'd be so stressed when I'm not on time, but here I kind of get more of a leeway and a little more, you know what, like five minutes late, that's on time. I remember one time I went to go get my toes done. Tell me why I pull up five minutes late. And I'm like stressed. I'm like, oh fuck. I'm fucking late. I'm fucking late. I see the nail ladies coming across the corner eating their food. I was like, boy, I'm good. I'm good. What are you stressing for? Also, y'all, yeah, I know this video is like low-key all over the place because I filmed a lot of clips. And I like got a bunch of clips together of when we were moving everything in. And I didn't do a lot of talking in between that. But I'm going to try to give it some stability. Just know the videos after this, top tier. Top tier. I just have such random ass shit. Like, bro, why I got to weave? <laughs> I know why I have one actually. I wanted to do like a long braid. I did that when I went to Tulum and it came out so freaking cute, but your girl's lazy as hell. I wish I could be like stylish and different and like a fashionista, but I'm so lazy, bro. Like, I'm gonna start manifesting for me to stop being lazy. Like, get this shit out of me, bro. It's a parasite. I need to stop being lazy, bro. Oh my god. This, I already know what this is. I've had this since we were in the apartments, y'all. Girl. Oh, huele bien culero. No, guys, I got. Oh my God, Lord fucking Jesus, Lord damn, Lord. I got some fart spray. I literally got this so long ago. Did it open up on accident? Shit. <laughs> oh my God, I think I know why the bathroom smells. So the bathroom in Michael's office has been fucking stinky, like straight ass. I'm like, bro, I know you be shitting in there, but like, there's no way it still smells like this. Like it smells. I think it's because of this, bro. Because this is low-key what it smells like in there. I think I just found it out. Sorry, babe. Yeah, so I've been planning to do this fart prank on Michael for so long. I need to actually do it. I'm going to do it now. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Shh. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. But yeah, it's definitely going to work because it smells like straight ass in a bottle. Oh, Lord Jesus. I don't even know where to put this shit. Guys, let me tell you, this toothpaste, no. Look at it, look at it, get a good fairy look. The one that's like low-key blue and gray, do not get that, guys, if you have white sinks because it stains the sink so freaking bad. And tell me why we bought like a fucking 12-pack of this. <laughs> we had a whole pack. So let me know if you guys want to buy this. I just can't anymore. It stains the sink so bad. Also, y'all, this might be TMI, so if, if you're a man, you can, like skip the fuck past this. But y'all, I have a fucking ingrown hair. Oh my God, like this bitch keeps coming back to haunt me, bro. And the hair will not come out. I'm just waiting. 
This is my Rina. This is my Rina. If you guys ever watch those pimple popping videos or like those ingrown hair removal videos, oh my god. I know they're nasty, but you know you're watching them. You know you watch them, okay? Because they're so like satisfying. And I just can't wait for the day for that little hair to poke out because I'm pulling it out and I know there's gonna be a lot of hair in there, but bro, it keeps coming back. Like it will go away, it will come back, go away, come back. Can you move somebody please let me have to get this ingrown hair out, bro? I'm tired, I'm tired. And I want the satisfying effect already, bro. Also guys, I don't know if I told y'all, but I have some lamps that I bought because I just need better lighting in the house. Like the lighting is too direct. The big light, we know. Ah! But literally, it makes me look like a Neanderthal. Like it puts shadows right here under my eye, like this. It, it's just a mess. It makes my head look like it's bulging out. It makes it look like it got a six pack, like it has veins and shit. I can't. I can see you oh. in the mirror oh. and in the camera. Oh. I see you like from every single angle. Oh. What beat are you going on? Minus, minus presidente. <laughs> Yo, yeah, let me tell you guys, we're fucking. So the presidential elections is happening right now in Mexico, and they have Claudia, Sochi, and Minus, right? Bro, puros memes, puros memes yeah. de la verga. They just had a debate yesterday. Like, I was talking with a friend, and I was like, bro, why are we not watching the presidential like election? I was like, bro, for what? We're not into politics. My fucker was like, bro, this is where the memes come out. <laughs> Bro, all the for you pages speaking the whole debate, bro. And one of the presidents, he came out with this song. Mine is, mine is, mine is presidente. Bro, tell me why everyone's talking about. Don't tell me he's gonna win just because he brought out this banger of a song. I'm gonna. Mine was the most real. Because of the yeah, song. You can't talk about my phone. About your phone? My vote. Tu voto es seguro. You can't yeah. talk about my vote. My vote is my vote. Tu voto es secreto y seguro. It's like straight Donald Trump stuff, bro. Estamos jodidos en ambos países. Yeah. So let's not get real political. We support your guys' decisions for whoever you guys vote, as long as you guys vote. Yo, in the US, están jodidos. Y nosotros en México, estamos jodidos. I don't know what's going on with the presidential elections on both countries, y'all. She's gay. Your breath She's is gay. in your mouth. Don't let it. Mine is, mine is presidente. Mi amor, ya va, ya va a venir el carpintero. Limpia allí donde vas a poner tu vanity Y allá abajo como, vamos a acomodar tus cosas rápido <laughs> Yo, my vanity is coming No es pero My vanity is coming Wait, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited Oh, this is my first ever vanity known to mankind Well, not really, you guys remember my old vanity that I got from Juan de Fuck you, Juan de This is my first ever real vanity, are y'all ready to see it? And it's actually like good quality and it's good and it's big And I get my desk too ah! Mine is, mine is Minus presidente. Vamos. so much life into the house also i look like a bad bitch okay even if my skin is red and irritated i look like a bad bitch
guys because we're doing a lot of moving and we cannot talk during that. We were sweating our asses off. Let me tell you, quite literally. A little bit moist down there. But right now I'm going to do an unboxing. I just got some packages. I think they're the lights for the living room. I don't know if I'm going to put all the lights or the lamps in the living room because I got three. Ooh, and there's two packages. So that means we got the majority. <laughs> also guys, look at my outfit today. Is it cute? Is it cute? I've been seeing like such this style to wear like a playera with a skirt or shorts. I don't know, like a casual look. And did I eat it up guys? Is it cute or what do you guys think? Also, I just hate shirts like this. Like I need, I liked, so they're playing with the plaques. I like tank tops, I like halter tops, I like stuff that show right here and my shoulders. Cause it looks like I have no neck and that's my biggest insecurity. And I have no jawline. I just look like a big ass circle on top of a t-shirt. So yeah, guys, that's why you always see me wearing tank tops, tube tops, everything that shows these shoulders. But honestly, I kind of like this. This is cute. No? Is this a new style? Also, guys, so I put paprika. Paprika. Paprika, amor. So I seen a video on TikTok. I was like watching a bunch of videos. How to get your cats from peeing and pissing and shitting in your plant. Bro, I looked up how to get your cats from peeing in your plants and it wouldn't come up because community guidelines. I couldn't say peeing. Like, are you so serious? Like, how am I gonna word this? How to get your cats from stop using the toilet in your plants. And of course, like only three vids came up. Who the hell's talking like that? Who's wording things like that? It makes no sense. I seen a girl who had like an outdoor garden and like a bunch of the neighborhood cats were like using her garden as like a litter box, literally. They was dropping turds everywhere. And that's exactly what my cats do. They love it. <laughs> they love it. They much rather prefer the nature, the naturaleza, instead of their litter box. Also, I look so good in green. Wait, wait, is this gonna be my everyday shirt? Mmm, I look good in green, huh? Anyway, so I seen she put cashew and pepper, paprika, and like a bunch of spicy seasoning. She like just mixed them all together and put them in her plants, and it stopped the cats from going there to use the restroom. And I was doing it, y'all, and I started coughing and stuff. It was like making my nose itch, so I think it's gonna work. Let's all leave a prayer in the comments. Please work, please. I just need some life in my house. I just need some green. And these cats are over here fucking shitting in it, bruh. Ugh. Y'all let me live the fantasy tropical life I want to live, please. Anyways, let's open these packages. Also, y'all look at this cute freaking purse my sweater I got for me. She just went to California for like two weeks and she came back and got me this. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I have the best suegra in the world. Suegros, they both got it for me. They both picked it out for me. But let's open this. What is it? Ooh. Oh, I hope I got the right one. I low-key ordered this in the middle of the night. So I want to get a lot more like white accessories, like as, like the white macetas that I have. We also have some blue macetas out there, but the plants want to fit in them. But yeah, I just want a lot more white so that it can like open up the area, give some more lights up in there. Yes! I ordered the right one. Look how cute this is, guys. Tell me this isn't so cute. Oh, it's like a little mushroom. Imagine I drop it. I don't know if I ever told you guys this story time. I've like told it to almost everyone I've ever met. It was a time where like the newest iPad just came out and my mom got it. She was like saving up for it for so long. She was so excited. We go to Apple. We go get it, right? <laughs> and this is like when Apple products were just coming out. Like, they were real new. So my mom saved up every penny. While I'm looking at it, having so much fun. Wow. And it's like big. You know those big ones? Because there was no mini iPad back in the day. And I walk up to the front of my house. Bro, it slips from my hand. Literally right before we get inside the door. We're not even a step in the door yet. And it falls and shatters. Literally shatters. I will never, I would never forget this this will never leave my mind because i was so traumatizing i ran so fast to my room and just hid under my bed for like hours 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 i thought i was gonna get the life beaten out of me i thought i was gonna go back but yeah everything was good actually my mom told me and i'll also never forget this it was really cute what she told me and i'm gonna pass this down onto my kids yeah it's just materialistic guys it doesn't it's not worth your tears it's not worth a beating it's just materialistic nothing's more important than family and you. Let me know if that made sense. I don't know why I can't speak lately. I need to read more books. Actually, I have been reading a book, guys. I've been reading the Verity book. Verity from Colleen Hoover. I bought it a long time ago and I, you guys remember that one bit I did where I was talking about it, how I wanted to start reading more and reading in Spanish. So I bought it like a long ass time ago and that's when I could not read in Spanish for shit. I opened the first page and I'm like, what the fuck is this? What is this saying? I understand the majority of the words, but there's a lot of words that I didn't recognize. But I opened it up back again, guys. I want chapter two. I'm on chapter two in this bitch. Yeah, I could like basically understand everything. You know, you know what I mean? Bilingue, bilingue. Yeah, it's actually a really fucking good book. It's super interesting. I need to read it right now. Actually, I've been itching to read it. Where's my book at? Where's my book at? Anyway, so let's talk about the lamp. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you guys how the lamps look at night once the sun's all down and everything so we can see how it looks without light. Let me show y'all the next. Let's open this bad boy up. 
Okay, guys, I thought this was a little lamp, but it's actually the big lamp for the living room. So I'm gonna have Michael put it up, of course. A man doing a man's job. And we're gonna put it up in the corner. Let's see how it looks. Okay, guys, so while he's doing that, I'm gonna show you guys my office because I just got my new desk. <laughs> Gamer era activated. I also got my vanity, y'all. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He actually came yesterday. That was crazy. I really didn't think he was gonna come, but he did. He came through. So I'm also gonna organize my vanity. I'm gonna show you guys that part. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I don't know if it's long. All I know is I'm a bad bitch and I look good as hell in green. Like, I get it. I get the style now. Pussy so thick. I ended up putting the lighting stick in here for my stream and it looks really cool, really cool at night. And also we got Batman, stripper Batman to accompany me because I'm actually really scared down here at night. But yeah, we need some new lighting. Like, let me show y'all. What is this lighting? Literally, what is this lighting? I might end up putting a lamp in here because I actually got four lamps. <laughs> Thought I got three, but I got four. Shh, don't tell Michael. Because they're low-key fucking expensive. Like, why are lamps that expensive? Anyways, y'all, so this is my setup. It's a pretty freaking big desk, but it is a little bit clumsy. We did get it custom made. It's really cute. It's really cute. I was hoping I could put my MacBook on there, but I don't think it's gonna fit. So I think I'm really just gonna have to learn how to edit on there. Say bye. Say bye to you and all the memories and all the videos we recorded. Also, y'all, I had to switch Michael monitors for now because my other white monitor didn't have, like, an outlet for this. Stupid, stupid freaking PC. Like, what do you mean you don't have an outlet for this type of monitor so dumb but yeah so for right now i have mismatched monitors i don't really like that but it works it does the job it does the job my monitor's low quality yeah it doesn't take the fucking input your monitor actually yeah so he just put the lamp up oh uh, act like you guys didn't see that <laughs> let's see the final reveal one two three Oh. You want a different? You want a different shape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> I got a double clip for that. <gasps> you like this one? Or you want it a little bit more warm? A little bit more warm. <gasps> oh my God! It's I can't hear a click or nothing. Oh, you're clicking? I just have a special type of clap. Oh. So this is what it looks like. It actually gives a lot of good light. Teach me how to dug it. Teach hey, teach me how to dug it. Teach me how to dug it. Teach me, teach me how to Everybody love me. Everybody love me. Everybody love me. You Your Dougie my... sucks, dude. You, you ain't messing with my Dougie. Girl, you know I hate that. I'm... You're fugly. Girl, you look fugly. Boy, you look musty. <laughs> At least I look like it and don't smell like it. But, tú no tienes una playera de México. Tú no tienes... Tú no tienes México en la cara. Tú no tienes México en la sangre, pinche conquistador. Eres anglosajón, güey. No sé de qué estás hablando, güey. Güey, o sea, eres literalmente de Inglaterra, güey. O sea, güey, literal, yo soy de Michoacán. <gasps> What's that behind you? Hey, we have a male editor. We gonna get a good grub on. My mom finally back from the U.S. and she made some dinner. <laughs> Yo, you know, finally gonna get my tummy right. Been losing weight, but we're gonna back to get it back up. <laughs> you lost weight because she was gone for two yeah, weeks. Yeah, I was starving, bro. Like, Alexis does not know how to cook. Boy, let's not talk about the filete de salmón that you did. Filete de salmón? Filete de pescado. Filete de hueles culero. Thank you.